Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, notions in the building! Yeah, hell yeah. Fellas, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this. I think we first heard your music about two years ago, and I was like, I got to talk to these guys. Uh, first of all, you guys are amazing. Could you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Kaylin, would you like to start, buddy? Oh, shit. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> Maybe later. My name's Kaylin. My name's Kaylin. Uh, I do vocals for Notions. I rap, scream, sing. I smoke big dope. Damn! <laughs> smoke weed every day. What is your, what's your, what's your, before we ask, before we get everybody else's uh, uh, information, where, what's your go-to blunt? What, what, what brand? I know you got you got wood gut, so I'm assuming backwoods. Okay, the Palmer wraps. Ponto leaves. Ponto leaves. Okay. Ponto leaves. These bitches is bastards. Hell yeah. You could you could roll up a whole fucking call up the the whole pound, the quarter pound, the dog pound. You roll it all up. Yeah, all buddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, fellas, for you guys uh, also here joining us, could you please properly introduce yourself? And uh, again, you can plug or promote anything you like before we kind of get started. So I'm a, uh, I'm Coda. I uh, play, play bass, and do a, uh, pretty much like a glorified hype man, bro. For notions, <laughs> I'm the one, uh, fucking looking like an idiot on stage every day, Did doing he? all the spin kicks and jumping around. No, no, I that's. I feel like what his job is is what I do for you, BG. We're just over glorified hype men that look dumb. That's to me. That's the opposite <laughs> of an idiot. That is, that is you bring you bring even more energy, which is gets the crowd yeah. going. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what's up. Oh, that's yeah. what's no, up. No, that, no, that's my thing is hyping up the crowd. Um, here in New Braunfels, Texas, Big Dog, which is uh, between uh, San Antonio and Austin area, close okay. to San Marcos, um, Central Central Texas, right here by the river. It's kicking it, man. It's, it's, a, it's a nice area. It's kind of hot still, waiting for it to get colder. But no, man, uh, just here, and I uh, smoke Big Dope as yeah. well. Excellent. <laughs> I don't have a cool as torch as Kalen, but definitely do. <laughs> one, one day you'll be worthy. <laughs> yeah, and then I and I brought hot sauce. Yes, excellent, excellent. Yeah. excellent. So we got a, got a couple of different ones that we can go. We do through. we do do some trivia at one point in the show, and if we're able to stump you, uh, if the guest is willing to do it, we ask that you chug a little bit of hot sauce. Of course, if I cannot stump you, I'm be the one chugging the hot sauce. And you can pick the topic, but we'll get there later. Uh, fellas, can you just toss out all your social media links so people that are watching may know where they can follow you real quick? Notions banned on everything, but then let's get into the... Uh, we'll tell you what, easiest way will be Notions on anything frankly we're finally getting to the point where if you just look us up n-o-t-i-o-n-s on whatever platform you want you'll find us if you go to instagram you can go in our bio and find all of our personal accounts linked hell yeah now i know you guys got a a, a little run coming up with the dropout kings we've had them on the show a couple times those guys are awesome how, how was that set up have you played shows with them before yeah, like do you, are you guys already pretty good cl pretty close with them um fairly just kind of throughout the um you know, throughout the scene, you know, we, we get, you know, some some comparisons and um, we've seen them, you know, kind of coming up at, you know, same time as we started kind of getting to our groove. And I was like, man, these, these dudes are really doing things. And um, one second. The hell is that? The parakeet? My dog is, my, oh. no, my dog is freaking out on a toy right now. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Stop that. Please. No worries. But, um, good dog. So, so <laughs> no, yeah, so people, young man. so people compare you guys' music to them. So it's just like naturally bound to happen. The perfect, the perfect pairing yeah. right there. Yeah, we've been asked for sure for like the past, I would say like two two years. Like, when are you guys gonna gonna do a show with these guys? When are you guys gonna tour? And we got a we got a couple of offers when they had come through Texas. But during the time, it was just Kalen and I working stuff out as just just notions just us two during during covid we had some member changes and it was just just kaylin and i for 
for a long time. Caitlin and I are the only original members of Notions, and we still need to get to our he downplay- with those guys. He downplays it, saying, saying a couple member changes. Half the band left. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. It happens, but the OGs are still here. And plus, you got you got some new crew with you, which is cool. Uh, you said during the COVID days, that's kind of like when it when uh, you kind of switch things up. And I think that's the first time we heard this song right here. And I I did a little research today and kind of checked out some some of your stuff that I wasn't familiar with ahead of time. It seems like this new album is definitely heavier and more aggressive as far as like instrumentally than some of your other stuff. Uh, what inspired that as far as the new album, the new sound? Brandon, get into I, that. That's Brandon. Yeah, I was going to say, I, <laughs> I personally have an answer, but Brandon, our, our guitar player, definitely was the uh, the main inspiration for that. Where is he at right now? Let me see his pretty face. There we go. Um, there he I is. I was just pissed off. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you were just, you just, did you, so did you like present them? Did you like present them a track that you had worked on like instrumentally and was like, I think we should do something with this? Is that is that kind of how it was created? Or did you just kind of pitch the idea? I think we need to do something like really f- pissed off. Kind of. Well, it was like, it was crazy because you said you listened to the our prior stuff, right? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like way more hip hop. It's way more it's hip hop. And it's got it's like angry hip hop at sometimes too, but it doesn't have that like chunky guitar in your face style you know what i mean so there's yeah. definitely a so change like the, in sound first album stay away was like very all over the place like it had its highlights and its moments and other parts were just kind of like you could tell they were just kind of like thrown together like in a fucking blender mm-hmm. and i was like okay this is the album but personally i'm not a fan of that you know i like to be i like to have something to bring every time especially for like a live aspect i don't want to write a song that we're never going to play live or no one cares for or anything like that. So it was just a lot of trial and error. Basically, like the first half, of, like the first year and a half of me being in the band was trying to recreate Stay Away. And finally, Kaylin was like, dude, this fucking sucks. Like, write like how you would write. Because that's why, dude, pretty much. She goes, write how you would write because that's why we want you to be in the band. We want you to be yourself. And I was like, okay, well, then send me Tooth Taker because Tooth Taker had a completely different version than what you hear today and they're like no fuck that song it's scraps that's old notions and i was like no trust me if you want me to write like me then let me give it on an example of a song that that we can toss up in the air instead of just you know full force so we can get the idea and that song kind of kind of shaped the, the album as far as the the heavy tracks go that was kind of like the leading way well let's show so, like this is our sound Let's show let's show people that may uh, may not be familiar with with you guys uh, what we're talking about here. Mm. I'm saying, mm. Mm. Yeah. how'd you guys how'd you guys yeah. link up with with backwards and unity to to get them on the feature? Oh, those are good friends, bro. Yeah, those good friends. Good friends. Yeah, we have known them for a long time, man. I've I've been playing shows with those guys for for ten plus years, just throughout the uh, the Texas scene, man. You know they've been. <clears throat> kind of just the 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 big dick bandits <laughs> in the area. Big dick bandits. So yes, sir. And like, it just seemed to make sense. This this idea, the first version of. Sorry, man. I'm trying to hide my toy from my dog. She's going crazy right now. <laughs> but uh, the first uh, first version of Two Taker, bro, was was ass, dude. Like, we fucking we me and Kaylin hated that hated that song. Like. It was kind of like our attempt to like go and like write something real, real heavy. Like after losing half of our band, so we went in there. No, it was before. It was before. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, you're right. It was right before. Oh, we lost. Um, we lost our drummer at the time, and it was. It was just me, Thomas, our old drummer, and uh, Kalen. We wrote this track, and when we got it, we're just like, man, this does not fit. Like Kalen got a bit some vocals to it, and he's just like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm not really feeling like over half of this and I, we were like all right well we're probably just gonna scrap it brandon took it to his hands and he created this fucking badass version of it and i was like it sounded like a completely different song and um we're like dude let's just make this kind of like a metal cypher you know kind of like just kaylin just does the hook and some cool you know verses and you know the breakdown and we'll just get like some dudes that fit our fit our side and those were kind of the first dudes that popped into mind too i was like oh yeah it's kind of like a no-brainer mm. so once we had like had the track we just sent we just sent it to them they put their shit in and then we uh we all met up in dallas and recorded a a video together which was so fucking fun dude so that was yeah. that was just a good time 
little little background info because you had mentioned the hip hop, but in in reality, the no, notions has always uh, in its origin been a band, and uh, we started off as a new metal act strictly, and then uh, we had what he just described with um, what what Coda just described of the um, the bullshit with all the band like band members leaving, struggling to get a new sound because we hadn't met Brandon yet. And at the time, there was we just had nothing to release. So that's that is when the hip hop releases started happening because I could just I realized that I could just shotgun them out and I could keep our our listener base active. It was a little bit resistant at first because it's obviously it was such a big jump. It was such a big jump from from a whole new metal album to consistent rap releases. But then Tooth Taker was our big comeback because we that- found uh, we we found Brandon. Brandon wrote us up a nice one, and that was our like firm stamp in Hell the yeah. scene of like we're we're still a band. Like we're yet yeah, we're still gonna release rap tracks, but like that was like the shining ray at the end of the. That's that's that clever and cool, and and like, oh shit, this and, is still a fucking metal project. Yeah, that that's that's cool. That's a cool way to to be to stay relevant. Like a lot of bands would would probably not do that at all. They would just be like, I don't know, we just gotta find the members, blah blah blah. But you guys are just consistently still putting out music and material. Feed the masses. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Over here. We like music for all kinds. Yeah, man. Every, every fucking week, dude. We were, we, <laughs> Kaylin and the rest of the dudes, like, we've been, we've been working hard for a long time. You know, I, I'd say this, the whole weekly release idea is, was Kaylin's 100%. You know, it's, and it helps our numbers, helps us stay, you know, stay relevant when we're like between releases and we just releasing banger after banger, like, that we can, and it's with like, Man, it's like oh, every Friday, our fans can expect something from us, and we have we have a couple people that are like, "Oh man, you know, like it's not the type of song that I like." Well, it's just like, "All right, well that's cool." I mean, we have guarantee you we have fifty other tracks that you'll you'll vibe with, bro. Like, like we're that's so- constantly trying to like just do just do whatever the fuck we we personally want. I mean, I think all of us we kind of all. At you know at our at our core we like playing metal. We like playing you know we like live performance we like to to do the the energy from that but it's real cool to be able to like just say that we don't know what the that we just can do whatever the fuck we want we've had a lot of people say that man this band just needs to figure out what the fuck they want to do and i was like man um i mean i think that we just want to fucking you're doing it you're doing it you're doing whatever you want to do (laughs) I'm, I'm, i'm nice and comfy hell yeah excellent uh We'll play. We'll play one more, and then we'll kind of get to the trivia and some crazy questions. But first, uh, Lloyd, do you have a question for the fellows that you want to ask? Uh, sure. Uh, say you guys were all at practice, and um, some magical music fairy popped out of nowhere, like "Hello," and said, "I will make you rich, and all your musical dreams come true. But you have to play nothing but country music for the next five years. Would no, you guys do it?" No. Dick, I'll be there. I'll be there no. without you, you stupid bitch. And I fucking send that goofy to fly Jesus. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, he's gonna be gone. Send that little dumbass bitch to fly, Jesus. Who you disrespecting talking to me like that? Oh, don't be so Stop. mean to me, okay? Oh, he's already dead. He can't talk. He's he can't gone. Talk. He's dead. I killed him in one fell swoop. I was so angry. Good answer. I was and what's all, uh, and what's unfortunate is I probably did that way too quick for the bandmates to even consider. So like, Coda's sitting there, all of the money, like, ha ha. Ha, and I've killed <laughs> Mike took off. He was like, oh, man. He's Sorry. Like, answer. Mike, did you, you you didn't agree with that answer or you just took off? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what just happened. That was weird. Um, no, I, I heavily agree with that answer. Absolutely. Yeah. That, yeah you got to you gotta stay true. All, yeah, then we all stomp on that disrespect. All right, then y'all, then y'all not sellouts. Good job. You know you'll do it on your own. No magical music. No. Fairy. What's up? What's what's high octane? What's high octane about? Uh, that is a rap track. So I run a collective known as Phantom Gang, and Notions is essentially Notions, the band slash rapper, is essentially the head of this collective of rappers, producers, mixers, etc., and fans, anybody who identifies with the movement. But Corvus is one of uh, my main boys. He mixed, mastered, did the artwork did everything for this track and he is a well he man he linked up with us when he was 16 he's 18 years old now but he's from uh he's from mexico he's like he's yeah. out of he's never seen america before 
Thanks. How, how did you how'd you meet him? Did you did you go to Mexico or was just uh, online the, networking? Oh, over the internet, he reached out to us actually because he was like he was he was so sweet. He was just like I want, and this was when we were much smaller. Granted, but he was still like, hey, because um, he 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 hadn't started releasing music heavily, so he was just like, hey, I really want to work with you, and you guys are amazing. I have no fucking money. How do we make this work? I can mix, I can master, I can make beats, I can do artwork. So I was like, all right, buddy, get to work. Let's go. <laughs> hell yeah. So you just appreciate the hustle. You can dig it. Hell yeah, bro. I was like, hell yeah. That I did... energy. And then after that, we became good friends. And he's, yeah, he's been Phantom Gang ever since. He, That's cool. Yeah, bro. He's he's crazy. I'm going I'm to play it right now. But before I do, I do want to do some trivia with you guys. But I'm let you pick the topic. That's the catch. I need to know you, the movie that you've seen the most or TV show you've seen the most. You guys must pick one answer between all of you, though. But you've seen this movie or TV show a hundred times where if I ask you anything, it could be Simpsons, Harry Potter, Terminator, doesn't matter. But just let me know what that is. I'm going to ask you trivia about it. If I stump you, you know what's happening with that hot sauce. Here we go. We got a song at the end of the month, and he's just gonna be rapping in in, in Spanish. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Did you did you guys pick a, a pick a topic? So, um, we can either man, I feel like we could do either two two choices. We can do, I mean, we could do a good anime because me and Kalen are pretty pretty big weebs, <laughs> or we can do something like that's probably a little bit more easy, which would be like. Marvel stuff, bro. Like Marvel movies. The I think we should go. Tell you what? O- only anime I could take wholeheartedly is Naruto. I don't. I, I. It's not even in my top five, but I've just seen it from front to back. I know everything about that motherfucker. Yeah, I mind would. I wouldn't be able to help you out with that. Something easy for me would be Dragon Ball Z if we pick anime, but Marvel. Oh, maybe that. we could team up. I know a lot of drag. I, yeah, I have. Bro, I have the whole manga right behind me, bro. Dragon Ball Z, run that bitch. Dragon Ball Z, it is. Uh, give me a second to find some. What if if somebody had never heard you guys' music before and you can't pick a song we've already played? What would you What would you play first? Like you're putting the headphones on them. This is the song that's playing from the album. Okay, I've got a rep- where am I? Okay, where, 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 where am I at? Where, wait, hold on. No, where am I at though? Am I at like an H E B or I'm sorry? Am I at like a <laughs> a grocery store or am I like at a music venue? You're at a Target. Okay, you're gonna play Wood Guts then. Wood Guts. Okay. <laughs> oh, true. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wood Guts. It is. Give me a second on the trivia. It's, it's a banger. It's, that's awesome good okay. good call right there good call all right so does dragon ball super count no, no man. that is not z. considered dragon ball z no it's a it's a whole different it's a whole different series it'd yeah. be like dragon ball gt or dragon ball you can tell that's, that that's i do not watch chapter we didn't tune into okay yeah. then i, then I yeah. need i need another 15 20 I, seconds I, I got you guys oh no, no you got it you got it um <laughs> Would you would you rather have to deal with having no nose but have really good smelling fingers or be blind and have a really nice smile? You ask the weirdest questions, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, have to go ahead and be blind. Well, I would say nose. be blind, bro. Yeah, blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I like sure. my nose. I'd have to go ahead and be blind. That sucks, man. Yeah. Damn. I like smelling shit. <laughs> Fair God enough. Damn it, dude. Fair enough. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Who is who's somebody that you guys have wanted well, to get on on a track but just didn't work out or the timing wasn't there yet but maybe it'll happen. Which house forty k? Which house forty k? Which house forty k? Brandon, 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 Brandon. Brandon. Uh, he he's an incredibly kind dude. He's just busy as hell. He wants you. He, he would do a track is what I last heard from him. But he's so goddamn busy, bro. It'll happen when it happens. It'll happen. For sure. Boys, y'all. What do y'all? Who do y'all think? Michael and Brandon. Okay. Do you guys have a song with with DOK? Do you guys have a song with Drywall Kings? No. Because I imagine that'll probably Um, possibly be talked about when you guys are on the road. It's being talked about right now. Cool. That'll that'll be a fun one. Yeah, it's it's yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna give too much away about it, but yeah, we're definitely uh I'm in talks with them right now about working something out for sure. You know, they're they're fucking very excellent musicians they're all very good at what they do and they're fucking blowing up right now and we met them at we played at so what music fest in um arlington 
Texas over here, and it was fucking awesome. But that was the first time we actually got to meet face to face. And kind of going back to your your one of your original questions, like that's kind of like where the inception of like this tour kind of like really like came came off. I was able to like meet up with them, and I talked to their manager Larry, who travels with them. Very fucking cool dude. And we um, just kind of like shot the shit, you know, fucking over a blunt, and then. Which I'm pretty sure somebody gave me COVID at that festival. They're the only people I smoke <laughs> Bastards. with. So I don't know. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> no, fucking kidding. But no, we um, yeah, we just discussed it a little bit there. But yeah, no, we're definitely it's it's definitely in, in the talks right now. So once we see each other, we'll be playing our our show first show together on uh, Friday. So in two days, they're in Friday. Dallas. Sweet. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, so, but yeah, definitely in, definitely in discussion for sure, big dog. Let's so see if you guys really that. have seen a little Dragon Ball Z in your day. <laughs> Goku was born on planet Vegeta. But what year, and I'll give you a little leeway, just be somewhat close. What year was he born? Holy shit. Don't grab the book. Everybody. He's cheating. He's gonna go look at. Oh, he's fridge. Look at this motherfucker going this collection right here. I thought he was, but he was. He's opening the fridge, right? That is a hard one. There's. I mean, there's a lot oh. of people playing in the in the trivia right now, so we gotta go a little difficult. I know nothing about mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z, so I have no idea why they fucking picked that. But you know, just toss I'm out just some random guesses. Choice. Because fuck you. That's why. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. We were, we were you're limited muted, to Caleb. discuss something. I didn't, hear you sh I didn't hear you shoot out anything, Mike. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb you're, you're muted. muted. You're muted. You're muted, Kalen. Yo, that motherfucker said a lot, and we didn't hear it. We can't hear you. <laughs> I said, I'm going to go ahead and get the fucking hot sauce, bro. Oh, yeah. oh there he goes. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I would, I would just shoot something out. I know this probably isn't right, but it's. I'm thinking it's in the future because, you know, Capsule Corp and all that shit, there's going to be a whole, bunch, there's a whole bunch of shit going on, like, with technology and then. I'm just going to go and say, like, 2066 or something, bro. That is completely incorrect. Like, you're not even nice. close. No. <laughs> the answer, the answer is 737 AD. Se I don't know. What? The 737 AD. I'm going to spin yeah, the wheel, bro. but I'm going to join you guys in the hot sauce. I've got some habanero, Kaylin, don't Havana say habanero bro. whiskey. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away had a boy. Cheers. That's Cheers for the stump. Cheers, boys. Thanks, thanks. Oh, hell yeah. It landed on mandatory metalcore. Who's a, who's a metalcore artist that you guys are feeling? Preferably a local band that we may not have ever heard of before. Oh, oh okay. Point. Oh man, there's so many good ones, especially here in fucking Texas, bro. Damn. Uh, what take? Oh, go! I got one. Colorblind. They're not metalcore. It's not metalcore. You don't think That's so? A, yeah, Michael, I'm with you, bro. No, what? absolutely yeah. not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Metalcore. Yeah. Colorblind yeah, go do go hard though. Shout out Colorblind. Shout Lost, out Colorblind. Lost in separation. There okay, you go. yeah, those boys are great. Dallas boys, right? Yeah. What, would Dallas. Enoch be up for? Is this them right here? Drowning? Does hit him count? Yep. Yeah, that's them. All right, let's check it out. Lost? Yeah, these are the boys. Oh, this is definitely fire right here. I'm just going to automatically put them yeah. in. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Uh, Lloyd, do you have another question for them? You guys want a, a serious one or a goofy-ass one? First thing to come to your mind. One, Whatever. two, three, go. If if you had an animal, if you had to add an animal's face for your head, if you had to have an animal head, what uh, animal would you guys pick? <laughs> this one. This is the weirdest yeah. interview you'll ever do. Yeah. I promise. Yeah, I'd be a cat. I'd be a <laughs> I'd be a black cat. No. Yeah, a straight up black cat. Yeah, no, I'd I'd want the the face of an eagle, but okay. the ears of a rabbit, okay. and the um. So you're a hybrid, a hybrid animal. Something, you're yeah. Horrifying. Yeah. I do have the other boys. I, <laughs> horrifying. What did you say, Utterly horrifying. I don't even want to address it. He's talking about right, man I'll, bear I'll pig or something one. over here. 
what's uh you guys can each take a turn at this but what is your favorite uh lyric like line bar of all time from a band or a rapper what's a line that stands out to you that you just that's like you take to home well, that's Walk a good question scene. Oh, jesus <laughs> From, from from us or anybody? Anybody. Like, what's your anybody. favorite bar lyric of all time? Ooh, it has to be a corn song. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Listen, the, like, literally the entire self-titled album, that whole fucking album is just, like, damn, like, mean-ass call-outs, fucking okay. badass fucking as everything i don't know if i could say the title on here but uh it starts with f well this could be before the breakdown oh i know what you're talking about this could be yeah. the most important question i've asked you guys this whole interview of which has quickly gone south uh and we're sorry about that no i'm just playing but yeah uh, who was goku fighting when he first turned super saiyan your mom oh. Frieza. Who is it? Frieza. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. I knew you'd get. I knew you'd get the redemption one. We'll spin it one more time. All right. So because I could not use stump you on that one, I'm gonna bust out a ghost pepper Death Valley hot sauce. Oh, you like hot sauce? Yeah, I have. I have he six. I have. Weird shit. I have sixteen of them right here. Just for. I got a really cool. This is Cajun. It was so funny. All right, Coda, it's time for you to step up. Sauce, I, yeah, I just got like a fucking badass uh, sriracha that's fucking super hot, bro. It's like fucking jalapeno mash. It's really good. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a different. Oh, I've never even seen that one. Yeah, bro. It's called Diamondback. It's really fucking good. It's way hotter than, than normal sriracha? It's fucking hot. They mash up jalapenos. It's like a jalapeno mash, bro. It's fucking great. Uh, I got here. You go. If you uh, see so you guys were all going out to dinner and you could take one guest with you, be a celebrity, living or dead, who would you take with you? Chester Bennington, Prince. Prince Chester Bennington. Ooh, that was a Prince good was one. icy. That was a good one, Michael. Dang, Prince is a great answer, but Chester is too. But Prince, purple yeah. rain. Hell yeah! How'd you guys link up with the with, with Franz? Uh, he ran. He ran <laughs> off previously. It's no yeah. air. It's no air. I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take it from. If you don't want to talk about it, bro, we were signed. The we we initially got signed uh, to Stay Sick, and he ran our label. So he, you know, it wasn't nothing to him. It was his. It was his bank account. The song was going into. So he figured, why the fuck not? And it was <laughs> safe to why say it was. Leave? It wasn't a very good experience, though. Oh no! So it, I it mean, it got us where we needed to go. Just a one, just a one release no, deal or something, or was it like a single deal or something? No. Or? So no, album. We, he's he's yeah, he signed us for an album. We were signed on to stay sick for two years, um, and then once COVID hit, you know, we kind of all just separated ways at the, and and it was kind of blessing these guys. So they did help us out. I'm like, yeah, I say, eh, you know, I wasn't super like happy with the experience in a whole. But it did help us out with getting to the spot we needed to without having to grind for like four or five years in the local scene. Um, I had been signed with them. Before, I had been signed with them before and been kind of like talked to them with previous acts that I had been with. So I had we had knew we had just known all of them. So by the time that notions became like an idea and we started like, you know, really rolling with that with that, we had everything. We, we were like a secret, bro. We didn't, we had like an EP of music videos, all our pictures, everything ready to go, but we didn't tell a fucking soul. And we just dropped it all at once. And then we're, people were like, what the fuck? Like they had no, no idea. Like really, like we just came out of nowhere. And within like the first week, we had a couple different label offers and Franz just gave us the best, the best offer at the time. So we just said, why the fuck not? It makes sense. It's going to help us out. And then so at the, at the end of it all, it's cool, but the, the first al that album that we did with them, we don't see anything from that. We don't we don't see a fucking cent from that at all. So wow. it was cool, but it would be nice to see some something from from that. You know, it's just sometimes that's just the way it, it fucking works. You know, some bands get better deals than others, and you know we know better now. It's, 
You learn. You learn, and uh, you live and you learn. I guess I'll say. Uh, this is actually a, a for real serious question. I ask every. We're almost out of time. But I I ask every single guest this this final question, and then I, I assume Lloyd will have one final question also. But what is a piece of musical advice somebody has given you guys that kind of was an eye opener or changed the game for you, or a terrible mistake you made? Something we haven't discussed yet. A terrible mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want a starting up band to make. Kaylin? Uh, shit. Frankly, I think I've okay. got one. I've got, uh, I've got oh. a piece of advice, I think. Okay. Go for it. Go ahead. Or I got one too. So if, it's not anything that like changed my life just because I was never like that person. But the, the biggest thing that I've heard from literally every musician that I look up to is just don't be a dick. Like, be a cool person to be with and like, you know, as as long as you're in the right setting, like you'll you'll get where you want to go. Speaking of Franz, the best thing he said was, "You can do anything you want in life. Just don't be a fucking bitch." Yeah, man. It's and true. frankly, that. frankly, the only advice that I got and that did change uh, my life is drop drop your music, bro. Like everybody, oh man, I got this song. Oh, it's so great. It's mixed by so and so. Oh, I've got oh, it's it's I've got an album. Oh, it's ready. Go, da, 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 da. If it's not out and being promoted and being enjoyed by the people and being played at shows is worthless, bro. You don't have it. Like drop your music and then once it's out, if it didn't do what you wanted to do, make more and try again. Try harder. Promote. Keep promote. 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 Don't also. Oh yeah. Second thing. Don't put your music out into the void and then be like, well, oh, well, how come my song got three streams? Find ways to promote your music. Google Google it, YouTube it. There's probably gurus that have lessons on it. Like, just get get your music out. Do you not get think it. that it's changed, though, from, like, maybe, like, 10, 15 years ago? You could just drop a song link and people would listen to it. But nowadays, you have to keep people's attention. What do you say to people who can't afford music videos or any kind of audio, like, kind of background to keep the people's affording. attention? I mean, it's not about you gotta, affording. You got to pay for it. Any- not necessarily. We don't, we don't spend it. We- much don't spend money on anything that we make nowadays like it's it's all yeah. made in-house like it's fair enough about yeah. I mean, that's the best way finding you work hard anybody can you, you know what i mean the producer that you go to to get your stuff mixed for a thousand dollars he's a human being that learned how to mix so can you oh. right yeah. i was gonna say YouTube, like youtube has the information for literally anything that you want and 95 percent of household maybe not that high but most households have like a computer with wi-fi or something some like a phone with wi-fi you can youtube anything and figure out how to do it like i know it's not always that easy but for most people it is so if you can't afford to go to some guy and pay him a thousand fifteen hundred dollars to record a badass song or whatever then you, you know if you want it that bad you'll figure out how to do it yourself it's yeah, about I, how I, hard I, you work it sounds real cutthroat, yeah. but that's the truth of it. it yeah, because the, pe- the people who aren't, it's, it's cutthroat, but the people that aren't willing to, to work hard are the ones that get forgotten, that like you're talking about, that get thrown by the wayside. Oh, what happened to so-and-so? You know what I mean? They're great musicians, great people. And another you know thing. Saying? You got to work. Another thing is that like you do have those people who can spend that money, who can go spend $5,000 because of you know whatever entity is giving them their money or how they're making their money who can spend the five grand or so or whatever on an insanely huge budget music video or an insanely well-produced track. But, and it's like, you have to get yourself to be able to compete with them at that level to where someone's going to see their video and your video that you made for almost nothing or a couple hundred bucks compared to over a thousand and be like, Oh wow. That's like, I don't see any difference. You know what I mean? And it's tough, but you know, you have to, if you want it, you'll get it there. Let's end on a final kind of fun question, but uh, it may not be a fun memory for get, you guys. Well, I have one. You said I okay. Have you one more. you can ask one more after this. My bad. Uh, Do you guys what's, consider? I got. Oh, I got one more. I'm sorry. What's what's the <laughs> what's the worst gig you guys have ever played? Give me give me an everything oh, wow. went wrong at this show story. It happens to every band. Um, okay. Well, personally, uh, we were on a, a tour with our our buddies in uh, Sentinels and Mother Sound and the Greater uh, Stay Sick Tour back in the day. And we were on a, we came back, we, so we had a show, we had just had a show in like 
New Hampshire or something, and we had a 36-hour drive back to make it to Houston. And then we got to Houston, and that kind of went all went all right. It was just really tired. And then our last show was in Austin. It was like a hometown show, and I was just ready to be back fucking home. And I just ended up getting like way too fucking drunk, way too wasted, just like having like a good time with like my my buddies and shit. And end up just like pretty much pretty much blacking out on stage and <clears throat> making a making a fool of myself, losing my eye watch and shit, you know, just like this fucking dumb dude. And then like the worst part for me, like besides playing like shit and looking like a fucking fool, was we had a fan who's still one of our fucking biggest fans. Phantom Gang for sure, Devlin. He's fucking awesome. He's a homeboy. But he's yeah. he's been fan he's literally like been with us since since the beginning four and a half years ago since we released our, released our first song he was there bro and he was there young with his with his mom and stuff and they saw me like that and he's like hey man i i really hope coda's okay i really hope he gets like over what he's going through i was like oh man i feel like such a fucking piece of shit because he was this kid look looked up to me and he was such a cool cool fucking kid and i felt like a failure felt like so that that personally was my worst fucking show fucking and on top of that there's probably like 10 people there you know like it was just like not like a not like a and good we've situation played at those all. to like two people before so it, that's yeah, true exactly first one. that's true yeah. that's true. a good one well, yeah, we, <laughs> and that's cool that's cool that he's still a fan to this day and uh is oh yeah yeah he's, he's a loyal we play apex legends together he's great at apex legends by the way he's fucking great <laughs> lloyd <laughs> lloyd with the the last question of the day then we have to let you gentlemen go but this is a lot of fun man uh lloyd final question for him My, <laughs> do you guys consider a hot dog a sandwich why or why not oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean it it's separate it slams two pieces of meat but no, only I, halfway yeah I don't. I do not yeah. consider it a sandwich. Yeah, no. I've never even thought about it. Own, I think I it's feel like you know, I, think I feel like they made thing. a bun specifically for it. You know what I mean? They were like, "No, nah, it's its own thing." That's why they made a bun specifically for the purpose of it. But you can put a bratwurst yeah. in there, and that's not a hot dog. That's a sec. That's a second well, item. Sure, but that, you know I mean? we'll but that's see. not a sandwich either. That's no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Fair hold enough. On, hold on. Why is that? How is that not a hot dog? Is a isn't a bratwurst its own thing and it's not? It is a hot dog, but it's. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Look what I started. <laughs> what what if you put what if it's you put sausage. chili on it's a bratwurst? It's a freaking sausage. I love what I started. Chili on a bratwurst. This is this is how you go out right here. This, this is how you go out. A nice little debate. Bring it up here. This makes zero sense. So this is it's clearly not a sandwich. It's clearly not a sandwich. What's considered a sandwich? You have two things debating? over something. That sounds like a like, sandwich to me. A, even a dickhead, you know what I mean? A, a dickhead calling a Captain. burger a sandwich. I'll like, I'll give you a pass. But like, not a hot dog. Well, you know what I'm saying? No, you put no, you put a you put a wiener <laughs> in a hot dog. Bun. That's a hot dog. <laughs> you put a fucking bratwurst in a hot dog bun, it becomes a hot dog. You know, like oh, well, real quick. Okay. So. I just want to bring up a story. We were on tour with Picturesque uh, a couple months ago, Good and man. there was our the power went out, so we were just like talking to the audience and stuff, and we started like asking stupid questions, like "Is a hot dog a sandwich?" And there was one guy who came up to the stage, and he was like, "Would you ask that same question at this uh, at this concert?" No, no, no. I, we didn't ask it. We didn't. Oh, okay. ask it. We didn't ask it. We got asked that, um, but some guy came up and he was like, "Is the ocean a soup?" And he like started listing yes. out all these different things, and I really hated the fact that I had to come to terms with the fact that the ocean is a soup. It is. <laughs> Interesting. It was really depressing. God damn it, dude. You got you got me you got me with some some leftover stuff to think about after this. But but fellas, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys joining in probably the weirdest interview you ever do. But you guys are awesome, man. <laughs> Stay safe on the road. Keep keep being you. Keep keep burning all the trees. Smoke keep weed. being cool. Just down to earth people, man. And just and just stay. You guys make the same music. Whatever. We love it. And you're welcome back anytime you'd like. Thank, Thank you so you much for having us. You guys are sick. We really appreciate it for real. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're, I'm sorry. We'll be back anytime. We'll, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back anytime. Whenever we're in town, please we'll hit you up. Whenever you're in town, please we'll accommodate you. We'll fucking smoke big dope. Thank you, thank you. Let's thank go. You. I'm in I'm in uh, Southern yeah. California, so when you make it over this way, just let me know and I'll be there. We will. Yeah, cool. we will. 
Ladies and gentlemen, hey. no sense. Give me a hell yeah. Thank you, fellas. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too, big dog. Peace.